Greetings all, Shane Bruce, Resto Mod Daisy, and hey, we're taking a step back to 19, no, excuse me, 2021 when people were doing unboxing videos all the time. I know, I've only done one other one, but hey, I'm excited about this one because what you're looking at in front of you is a result of a successful eBay auction win on my part. I was absolutely stunned that I got three guns for the price I got them shipped. It's great. So, the question is, just how bad are they? Well, you know, this is Resto Mod Daisy, and you know that I build daisies. So, what's in the box shouldn't be that uh, questionable. Of course, it's daisies. Now, let's see how just how bad it is, or how good it is. I'm thinking it should be pretty good. Yeah, based on photos, though, provided by the seller of said item. Now, you know, when you buy stuff on eBay, you never really know what you're going to get. You just have suspicions, some of which can be, uh, you know, marginally justified. But at least in this case, they actually sent a pretty decent box. Get that out of the way. Oh, now look at that. Individually wrapped. Now, you guys are probably not aware of this, but I do prefer paper wrapping. I much prefer paper wrapping to styrofoam or to bubble wrap or to any of the other things that people cram in their boxes when they send me guns. Why is that? Because it's paper. <laughs> it doesn't flop around the shop and disintegrate into small white particles that never seem to be able to get picked up. So I bought three guns and by God we've got three wrapped up pieces of paper. Let's see what's inside the paper. Pretty excited about this buy because the uh, guns reputedly were all number 111 Model 40s. I think there might have been a 1938 in the mix. We'll find out. So anyway, the day's objective is to get the guns out of the paper. Hallelujah, Jesus. We got the, oh, look at that, paper and styrofoam. Oh, so and styrofoam inner liner, yeah, excuse me, bubble wrap inner liner and paper exterior liner. I like that. That keeps things from rattling around in boxes. So and if stuff doesn't rattle around in boxes, the odds of it surviving the transit, I believe, are much, much improved. And I also like the way this guy wrapped the uh, bubble wrap. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're getting close. Now, you got to be careful when you cut your uh, beat-up, rusty piece of crap daisy out of uh, the shipping material. Because, you know, you don't want to put any more scars on it than it already has until we get to the refinishing point of view. So on gun number one, ooh, ooh, plastic stocks, three-star lever. There's the roll snap, a Model 94. Okay, one of them was a Model 94 Red Rider carbine. As you can see on the right, the roll snap there is very bold, very bright. Got an oil here hole, nice. Got the hammer, nice. Let's let's finish. Oh, here's the bad news. Ooh. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get her slipped out of her sleeve. You know, like I said, they were a uh, bargain basement pricing, so I didn't expect a whole hell of a lot. Didn't see that bit though. Butt stocks toast, but you know, here at Restomod, that's <laughs> it's like not such a, a big deal. deal. For you. <laughs> you know, I've all, this is something I've always wanted to do. I want to get a roll stamp made in metal that can be uh, I can use on my steel butt plates to impress the uh, credo here. Probably get in trouble with Gamo Corporation for stealing their their uh, logo and such. But I think it's a neat thing. I think all daisies ought to have that written on. You know. Let's read it. I pledge myself to protect people and and what animals? Sorry, I was staring off. And what? people, animals, and property. And animals and property in my community. In, in by my community, aiming and shooting my rifle safely. Ah, what well, a novelty thought. <laughs> well, it's not a novelty thought. It's the credo. This is this is you know part of the deal. Anyway. Onto the, come on. As we can see, buttstocks toast. Got the really cool imprint there. That's That would be another die thing I'd like to get made one day. Let's see what we got. We got no trigger return spring. No, no. There's a trigger return spring in there. It's just this thing is so stiff it has no effect. That's not bad. Let's see what it says here. It says Daisy Model 94. 
Western Caribbean, 1958 to 1962. Yeah, I'd say that's reasonable because it's got plastic stocks. All right, moving down the gun. Got a good roll stamp. Got an old ear hole. We have no barrel band. We got pretty much a hot dog four inch. Yeah, we expect that. Up here on the barrel shroud, we've got some rust and some scraped paint. Yeah, but no big dings, no big dents, no gaping holes. That's pretty cool. Bottle caps there. Hey, the bottle cap turns. It's not the right bottle cap. No, hold it, it is. But the flange has broken off. Now, without this flange, every time you put BBs in this gun and put that It'll muzzle down, <laughs> they'll all come right out on you. Let's take a look and see what kind of condition <laughs> the bottle cap is in, aside from missing its flange. Now, oh, look at that. That little Whoa. mounting point there is pretty trashed, which is why the spring is no longer present. So we're going to say this one is a potentially usable bottle cap, but it's going to have to be rehabbed. Let's uh, get the light and take a look and see if there's any indication that there's an air tube in this gun. Let's see if we can get this oh, shot this, made. I mean, this is more just so you can look down there, dog. Yeah, my lights. Okay, we got an air tube. I can see it. Can All you right. can you make anything out? Hold on. Yeah. Did you get a light for me, dude? Can you get a little light in there? No, I'm not. We're not Can't see it. This. All right. No. Well, anyway, there's like two an, more to do. No. There's an air tube present, so that means that's cool. We got a trigger. Got we got the original nuts. Mm -hmm. They're all standard slot. There's even washers on these two. Fancy. You think we see if it cocks? Let's see if we can cock it. Right, yeah, this one here. We'll see. We'll all right, see. Let's see. So we're going to ear it back. We got a trigger return spring, but man, that trigger's stiff. Yeah. All right. Well. No engaging. Yeah, like this one's not clicking. Ah! Yeah. Don't be hitting the camera. All right, we're going to try to force that. Uh, this could get a little. Oh, dude, don't. We're gonna get the lever back. We're okay. gonna see if we can force this the trigger. We got engagement. Ah, right. So the return spring is just too weak. Damn. Let's see if we ah. get a poot sound. Pete. Pete. All right, that slapping sound we just heard mm -hmm. means that the seals are probably toast. However, I'm just not unpleased with what we got for the money we spent. This is pretty good. Non-standard nuts on the back side. Three-star lever. Folded metal trigger with an inadequate trigger spring and a lot of a lot of wear in there some way, somehow, some ways. All right, so this one, I believe to have been a good deal. We can make that one into something really spectacular. I don't know, maybe something, maybe something that looks like, oh, yeah, we could get that one. Probably looking this good without too much trouble. Oh, so fresh. So it clean. is. So clean. So fresh. So you don't even need to worry about the plastic socks. They're going to come away at some point. I'm not really worried about it exactly. for that very reason. Here, let's put our butt plate over there. Oh, yeah. Put all, all right. the pieces back together. <laughs> Unheard of. Unheard of. All, all right. right. Uh, gun number two of the three gun deal from eBay. <coughs> Pardon me. Paper wrap, bubble wrap, same process, both guns. That, that tells me this guy knows what he's doing. He has the safety of the weapon in mind, the satisfaction of the customer in mind. Always good news. Oh, another Red Rider. But now take a look. Also a plastic buttstock, but with a different imprint. Here, this is a, this. this is a really cool, hang on, hang on. All right, now this is, is that at? This is a 1938. Where's the roll stamp? No, oh, it's a low pivot. It's 1141. Not the roll stamp, but oh. the butt stock here. This has got the raised wow. bar relief. Now, look how determined old red looks in this one. Dude. See how determined it is? It's so much better than that wood it's burning imprint. Don't make plastic like they used And to. the horse looks really cool. And there's old Fred's name right down there. That's nice. Oh, that's cute. I do like this. And no credo on the buttstock there, so they didn't think that was that important. No, they were fine with you shooting your eye out. Let's see what we can see here. This is a, can you make that out? 1938? Well, I got I Red Rider. That's the carbine. That's about yeah. all that's showing up. I think up here is, is probably a model 1938, but that's really faint. I gotta look at it with my real people eyes. No. Can't make it out? No, just this carbine. Now, this one's been worked on. Been oh, repainted. there's some essence. There's the USA. Is it? Yeah, it's a Plymouth gun. Yeah. Damn. Right. So we Should got uh, factory uh, screws. Not a factory screw. Mm. 
trigger return spring that actually works well. Uh, elevation adjustable rear sight with the, uh, I like this rear sight blade. That step notch, I think that's. Oh, okay. She cute. Yeah, I think that's much better. Let's get this paper out of here. Yeah, All right, so as we review the gun further, mm. we have another hot dog plastic four end. It says, it's a daisy. Hot dog. Like you had any questions. But no, uh, no barrel band. Now here you can see this gun has definitely been repainted. Mm. There's some flakes and chips and crust and rust, and there's some rust bubbling under there. Quite a bit of it, actually. All right, our bottle cap is intact. It has its flange, Woo! so it does what it's supposed to do. On the flip side of the uh, uh, barrel shroud, same basic bubbling. You can, you can feel it. You hear that sound? Yeah. That's my thumbnail rubbing over rust bubbles hidden by paint. All right, let's pop this one out. We're not gonna bother going through the process of trying to show you guys if this thing has an air tube. You just have to take my word for it. Hey, check it out. Shot tube, intact. Whoa. Not busted, has spring. And when we look down the bore, and we see that it is a fairly, fairly good seam. So this one might be a really usable shot tube. It looks pretty fair. Let's take a peek and see if we can spot an air tube down there in the air bowels. Tube. has an air tube. Huzzah. And there's also a seal present. Oh, so we're going to do the poot test here on this one as well. Ooh, that's a stout spring. And it, see if we get a slap or a kind of a softer sound. Ah. By God, I think that shot something. Shit. <laughs> Let's try it again. Oh. That's pretty loud. I got a feel in this one. This one's running pretty good. Ooh. I'm very happy with the price we paid on that for a three-gun deal, shipping included. Sweet. All right. Now all right. put the, the, the thing in my Oh, that's in. right. No, no. We'll just leave parts li scattered willy-nilly all over Helen Gone and figure out what they went to later. That's the normal process. I mean, she might. All right. So, all right. 1938 Red Rider, low pivot, plastic stocks, Night, and a Model 94 Red Rider. All right, so you know what this one is then. Which is, uh, the 94 is a high pivot, yeah. so that's a later gun. And hey, look at that. Yeah. And here is the third gun of our three-gun deal okay. off of eBay. Uh, the same process and wrapping. I like that. That's Bye, consistent. Here. That's consistency. And just kind of cut this free and see what we got on our three gun deal so far i'm very happy yet another look at that so this is probably a 1938 oh that's a low pivot oh boy this is a rust bucket oh no you're gonna have to cut that that's a little firm yeah you got a little carried away on this side uh, i think we, well, we will soon find out why <laughs> well look at that hey all right, let's start at the back the back end. Buttstock is Plastica. Plastica. Fred Harmon, nice. Yeah, yeah, we've already it's, seen it with the last one. We it's know in, what's but up. Yeah, but this one's intact and 95% straight. A little bit of dish in here. That might be salvageable. Uh-oh, we have the uh, infamous crack. Factory screws, two, uh, two width washers. That's a factory screw, but now let's take a look at the top here. We should be able to... Carbine, USA. No, it's pretty rusty testy. Ah, but look at that blue. See, that's factory blue there. Yeah. That is really nice. Too bad. It's a number 111 Model 40. All right, so. Boom. All right. So that is pretty unusual that you would get that much preservation of the original factory finish. We might try to, we might try to do a different process on this. See if we can preserve that. Uh, adjustable rear sight with the slotted notch. Uh, not as hot doggy, a four end, no barrel band. We're going down the shroud, we're not seeing any major dents, but man, that factory blue is standing out. Yeah, she's poppy. Yeah, that's that's really good quality. All right, uh, that's a stiff one. We'll pull the shot tube and see what the story is there. Shot tube, shot tube, shot tube. Here we go. Hey, another intact. Uh, rattle trap, shake and bake, shot tube with spring, and no visible seam from the inside. 
and that's a little bit worse for wear, but mm. not the end of the world. Let's get back down here to the rust bucket side of things. It does have a trigger return spring. Now this has the uh, plain Jane lever, just like the other one, 1140. All right, so that's aluminum. So it's post-war, we know that. And uh, but I'm really kind of impressed with the remaining factory finish. Let's issue boots. I'll hold it. Two things. Air so tube. Air, air tube. tube. Air tube. Air tube. It seals. All right. Let's see if it puts. Oh. It does engage. The spring does not feel as stiff as the other one. Mm. Oh. Although it's got it's plenty of oomph. I think we'll be doing another video on these before I tear them apart. We'll do a firing test. Mm. But anyway, so here, here we have it. Three daisies. All red riders. Two 11140s and a Model 94. Let's get them here in their, all their glory. They're functionally complete, except for the trigger return spring or the trigger element here is gummed up bad. That might just be a lubrication issue. Technically, every one of these guns most likely shoots. And every one of these guns is highly desirable. And I got them for a song. So victory for Resto Mod Daisy. We will play with these and figure out what we're going to do and turn them into something else. I'm not quite sure. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll go with the approach we took on this one, which I think is an improvement with the going to town finish on a 1938 Red Rider. Got the super spring, got the full length wood, got the good looking stuck. Nice. Even got the old cheap plastic daisy large loop lever. Still working on a metal, metal resto mod lever for that but no progress to report at the moment. Well, kids, there we go. Christmas came early here at Rest of My Daisy. There's the latest acquisition we've come up with. Three new members of the Ramuda. We'll be doing shorts on each individual one. And of course, as we work on them and convert them, we'll be doing videos of that as well. That's all we've got for you today, kids. This is Shane Bruce with Rest of My Daisy, signing off.